Time to start in with the straight sword. My all time favorite weapon. I have to say knives, swords, I love, I can't get enough of weapons. It's one of my favorite aspects of Kung Fu. The straight sword, one of my all time favorites. One of the most difficult parts of it is the handoff from one hand to another. So I'm gonna get in here really close so you can see this hand is holding the sword so that it can be fingers down this way. When I go to hand it off, it's going to slide this way so that this hand can grip with the little fingers first. And as this hand pulls away, this hand's got the sword. So, and then on the handoff at the end, this hand comes in so the index fingers are together and it grabs index finger, middle finger first and holds the sword like that. So this one, the right one, which is the hand we perform the sword form with, it's gonna grab little finger, ring finger first and switch into its grip this way here. That's the first tricky move. This form, when we start it out, it starts off to the right and then it comes back a little bit to the left. First salute. Step out. This hand turns into sword fingers right off the bat, which is the thumb touching the knuckle uh, under the knuckle of the ring finger. The two fingers, middle finger, index finger extended. So salute step out into ready position. Then we begin a chisa rising. The sword is right up the forearm. And notice the index finger is the one that's extended. So from here, chisa coming up, temple height. And then the sword starts to point straight up and down vertical as we begin to shift the weight to the left. The sword fingers of the right hand come to the midsection and we tow the right foot all the way out. As we begin to shift the weight forward, the sword blocks across the body. Then we continue to circle the arms stepping straight out like brush the knee and press in traditional forms except this one we press out with the sword fingers which would be hitting into the throat or into the eyes it's about throat high here then stepping forward with the right the sword's going to come right across the top of the forearm and punch and scrape as we sink down and press out with the right arm to the rear. Then stepping out, bring the sword in. So the left hand is palm out with the thumb down and the right hand and foot are gonna come up as we hand the sword off. Left hand immediately goes into the sword fingers. And as we step back, draw back, going to raise the wrist and come down. So the sword tip is eye height and the wrist is waist high. So that position, when we step and grab, the tip is going to drop and come down just like that. So it's got like a whipping action to it there. Salute, step out, raising up, shift, toe the right foot out, shift the weight again, step, and press. Draw in, press, and thrust back. Stepping out, down and hand it off. Step back and sink down. 
absolute sink raise up shift turn step and press draw up scrape and thrust sink and thrust step draw in hand it off and step back you can always just practice with a stick the sticks work just the way that the swords do and they have every bit of capability the big thing with the stick that you want to practice is to make sure that you're thinking of it as if it was an edged weapon so meaning that if i'm slicing across that this would be where the blade would be cutting so the edge where the flat part of the fingers are towards the knuckles here is going to be where the edge is you don't want to be twisting it to where you'd be hitting with the flat part of the blade but think of it as cutting across just like with the sword you have to be thinking about where you're coming across cutting with it cutting with it cutting cutting thrusting cutting so every time that I'm moving it across the target it would be cutting not over rotated where it would smack or under rotated where it would smack but right across where it's cutting other than that be well and keep up the great work take care of yourself and I'll see you soon